Hi everyone. Welcome to this video on how to add the built-in and custom toolbar items to a Sync Fusion Blazor Gantt chart in a Blazor WebAssembly app. In this video, I will show you how to add few built-in toolbar items, enable and disable toolbar items at runtime. Also, I will show you how to add a custom toolbar item in the Gantt chart. Let's dive right in. I am using an existing Blazor WebAssembly app. In this project, I have already configured a Gantt chart with data. I have added a class named task data with fields such as task ID, task name, start date, end date, duration, progress, and parent ID. I have created a list of task data using the oninitialized method. In the Gantt task fields tag, I have defined the properties to display the task data. Using the Gantt columns tag, I define the fields to show some fields in the tree grid. To know how to bind data to the Sync Fusion Blazor Gantt chart component, please watch the video titled Binding List Data and Service URLs to the Blazor Gantt Chart, which I have shared in the YouTube card. Now, I run the project. You can see the Gantt Chart with task data bound to it. Now, let me show you how to add the built-in toolbar items to the Gantt Chart. You can add the built-in toolbar items like Add, Cancel, Collapse All, and many more. To make this video simple, let me add the Collapse All and Expand All toolbar items. To do so, in the SF Gantt, add the toolbar property and set a variable name. In the code part, define the variable as the type of list of string toolbar items and assign a string collection. Add the string values collapse all and expand all. Run the application. You can notice the toolbar with items in the Gantt chart. Click the collapse all toolbar item. The collapse operation is performed in the Gantt chart. Click the expand all item, the expand operation is performed. The built-in toolbar items execute standard actions of the Gantt chart component. Also, you can notice that it renders the button with icon in text. Next, let me show you how to disable the toolbar items at runtime. Let me disable the two items while clicking on a button component. So, add a button component, provide the value as disable. Add on click event and set a method name. In the code section, implement the disable toolbar method. Within the method, use the Gantt object and call the enable items method and pass a collection of int values. The value 0 will indicate my first item collapse all, and the value 1 indicates my second item expand all. To disable these two toolbar items, pass the second parameter as false. Run the application. Click the disable button. It disables the toolbar items in the Gantt chart. So, you cannot click those items. Next, let me show you how to enable the toolbar items at runtime. Add another button component, provide the value as enable. Add on click event and set a method name. In the code section, implement the enable toolbar method. Within the method, use the Gantt object and call the enable items method and pass a collection of int values. To enable these two toolbar items, pass the second parameter as true. Run the application. Click the disable button. It disables the toolbar items in the Gantt chart. Click on the Enable button. It enables the toolbar items. Now you can click on the toolbar items. Next, let me show you how to add a custom toolbar item to the Gantt chart. Let me add a filter button so that it filters the task name column that starts with the word identify. In the SF Gantt, first let me enable filtering so that I can perform filter operations in the Gantt chart. Next, I need to add the custom toolbar item to the toolbar items collection. The custom toolbar items should be of the type item model. So, first I use the namespace, Sync Fusion, Blazor, Navigations. In the toolbar items field, I change the collection type to object so that the collection will support both the string and item model types. In the collection, add a third item as the type of item model. Set the text as quick filter, add ID property, and set the value toolbar filter. Also, you can customize the item to align, click, CSS class, and many more. Let me make this item simple. To perform click operation on this item, let me add the on toolbar click event. So, in the SF Gantt, add the Gantt events tag, and add the on toolbar click event, and set a callback name. You need to set the T value type as task data so that the Gantt events can understand its type. Implement the callback method toolbar click handler receiving the parameter of type click event args. Within it, check a condition whether the args item ID equals toolbar filter. This ID is the same that I have given to my custom toolbar item. If it is true, 
then call the Gantt objects filter by column async method and pass the task name column, and the condition starts with, and the filter text is identify. So that when you click the quick filter toolbar item, it filters the records that start with the word identify. Now run the application. You can see the custom toolbar item quick filter. Click on it. You can see the record that starts with the word identify along with its parent item. That's it. You can download this working example from the GitHub link in the video description below. You can also check if you're eligible for our community license, which gives you a free license key to use our Blazor products. If you found this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching.